Yeah, yes, that's it, exactly. And when did you last see... But did you see a more serpent-like tail or a larger body? Oh, well, it has both. A flatter body with... With a long tail. Yeah, yeah, like a sea snake. Precisely. How far from shore was it? Was it green, this... maybe? Yes, or, or, or brown. Yes, yes, yes! Sir, if I may. Well, go on then, Murdoch. Don't make me ask all the questions. You're telling me that you believe in zombies, werewolves, vampires, Martians, Venusians, curses, voodoo ghosts, and apparently sea monsters. But a creature in Lake Ontario that both I and Detective Murdoch have witnessed is beyond the scope of your otherwise vivid imagination. You're telling me that. Sir, I can't attest to what you witnessed. I'm afraid I remain a skeptic. Uh, sir, perhaps what you saw was a very, very large fish. It, it was, was not, not a fish. fish. I'm sorry, sir. Trust me, I know how you feel. Crabtree, I don't need you to come for me. Well, I'm just saying, sir, I've had my share of disappointments, but you know what? I never give up hope. Thank you, Crabtree. If you truly believe that lake monsters exist, I believe you will find our proof. I said, thank you, Crabtree. And isn't Toronto the perfect place? You've Lake Ontario right there, Lake Erie, Lake Huron within a day's travel. If you were to include rivers... Uh, George, perhaps you should look in on Dr. Grace. We need to identify the weapon that killed Miss Nicholson as soon as possible. Sir, right away. Chin up, Inspector. Chin up! And the Inspector, sir, having the makeup applied as if you were a lady. <laughs> Surely, we... Surely we, as public servants, can rise above the temperature, like I learned to in Afghanistan. Oh, Afghanistan. You think this is hot? This is a bloody blizzard by comparison. My best man was in dire straits, and you took it as an opportunity for a spot of canoodling. It's called mouth-on-mouth -mouth resuscitation, Inspector. A technique employed by Swiss doctors to resuscitate babies. I did it only to save William's life. Of course you did, Dr. Ogden. Of course you did. this between us. Sherlock Bloody Holmes! Give me strength. What's he doing back here? It appears he has set himself up as a consulting detective. Consulting? My Aunt Fanny. There are people daft enough to hire him. So far, he has found two cheating husbands and a lost dog. <laughs> That's Webster. What are you talking about? He's a spider that I get on well with. Of course he is. Higgins, you have to distract her. Well, how, George? I don't know, Henry. Do you have even a wit of imagination? Uh, Dr. Grace? A moment? What is it, Constable Higgins? I've secured two tickets to the music hall tonight. I was curious as to whether you'd like to attend. With you, me? George said it would be all right. He gave me permission to ask you. Did he now? Well, in that case, I would be delighted to attend the music hall with you. And afterwards, we could well, go hold to this on now. Oh, George, I didn't see you there. Whatever are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Put the specimen down, George. This is a murder investigation. I'll get you another one. No, George. He's perfect. Oh, my goodness. He's alive. Emily, look. He's alive. Crabtree, take these down to the evidence room. <gasps> Detective. We're going to have to take him to the morgue. I'll alert the constables immediately. And Dr. Ogden, thank you. I don't think I could have done this without you. No, no, no. Thank you, Detective Murdoch. Thank you. Oh, oh my. All right, stop, stop. Oh. Cut it out. Cut! <laughs> oh, what? That was not in the manuscript. The manuscript said I was supposed to embrace him. Well, that was a lot more than a... An embrace. Yeah, well, perhaps it'll titillate the audience. It was titillating. Uh... <sighs> Emily! Oh. George Crabtree, you certainly enjoyed that. No, 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 no. I, I had to kiss her back, Emily. Uh, you know, otherwise, it would ruin the moving picture. Ruin the moving picture. In a pig's eye. Oh, Emily, no, 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 it, that, that's a, it, as a professional, I don't have any feelings when I kiss the pretty woman. Well, perhaps that's true, but that might be a good thing.
I might have something to say that I want the whole world to hear. Yes, yes. You and everyone else, George. Just think of all the birds outside your window tweeting at once. I think the word is twittering, Henry. But you might be right. <sighs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> what on earth was that screech? Combinations are there? Thirty-five trillion. Thirty-five. Good luck. This is somewhat awkward. <laughs> Has there been a corpse on this? No, George. Emily, I think I've just invented a new beach game. I could call it Flying Hat or Flying Brim, Free Brim, Frizz Brim. Flying Hat. But the race was in early stages, hardly long enough to have strained his heart sufficiently. Well, sir, you were quite winded, although you're a bit older, I suppose. I don't mean you're, you're old per se, sir. George, may I see that bottle of yours? Sir, the bottle I... Well, I didn't want it to go to waste, you see. So, and I must say, I feel something. So I feel energy. I, I, I feel as if I could fly. Though I might suggest you find a simpler name for it, like type D blood. A, B, C, D. It does have a nice ring to it, Dr. Grace. <clears throat> Just a suggestion. How long? Centuries, George. Centuries. May I have a look? No, we mustn't touch it. Is it much further, George? Well, sir, after this hill, uh, there's a steep hill, and then it's... Another hill? Yes, sir. How's it feel to be home, George? Sir, it feels just... Uh, uh. What kind of place is this? It's a rectory, sir. Uh, the Reverend wasn't using it, so he rented it to my aunt for their business. What kind of business? Sir, if you don't know, well, I'm not sure I should say. I might have guessed, George. Oh, that's good, sir. That would have made for an awkward explanation. <laughs> George, was the Reverend aware of all of this? Oh, yes, sir. It was his idea. Be not afraid, says he. Come with me, I'll make pirates of ye. Shillings, too, I'll pay to you. A jolly roger and a cockatoo. George. Yes. And it would appear that their Bokor master is this Dr. Sabe. Yes, sir. And it's his sorcery that's making him so difficult to locate. So that's exactly my thinking. Oh. But he's definitely too young for you. Play and measurements. I dare say my afternoon could be your schedule. I wonder, what would you name your newfound dinosaur? Julia. A fine name, I like it. <laughs> That's so amusing. <laughs> you, acting. That's so ridiculous. Well, it's just, it's not something I can imagine you doing. I've heard that, apparently, there isn't much to it. All right, Mr. Pendrick, you're on. But I'm only doing this to aid my investigation. Of course, of course. Butterflies. Since I was a child. <laughs> I certainly hope that isn't the reaction you give your patients. I'm sorry, it's just... William Murdoch, the possessor of the most logical mind I know, being frightened of butterflies? They make me uneasy, is all. Have you ever watched them? They're completely unpredictable. First they fly left, then they fly right, then straight at you. They defy logic. 
Dragonflies do the same? Dragonflies are different. Why? I don't know. They just are. 